Hi students, in this session I am going to teach you four simple tricks to solve Lee Chartilla's principle based questions easily. Let us see first what is Lee Chartilla's principle. See what Lee Chartilla's principle say is if any change is done at equilibrium then equilibrium will shift in the direction where it can minimize the effect. For example, if you are increasing the pressure then equilibrium tries to decrease the pressure. If you are increasing the concentration, then equilibrium tries to decrease the concentration. If you are doing, you are decreasing the concentration of product, then equilibrium tries to increase the concentration of product. Whatever you are doing the change, equilibrium shifts in such a direction to decrease the change. By the end of this video, you know, you are going to solve the question. See, all these questions you are going to solve on your own simply just by you know looking into it you get the capability to solve the questions you know watch up to the end of the session let us see the trick number one in this trick number one i am going to cover effect of concentration means if we change anything uh, for uh, to the concentration how equilibrium shift i am going to explain you concentration factor i am going to explain you here Suppose we have a reaction A is reacting or A is converting into B. This is a reaction. What you are going to do is you are increasing a concentration of A. Here I am using this square bracket to represent the concentration. If we increase the concentration of A, equilibrium what it has to do? It has to decrease. Equilibrium has to shift in a direction. To decrease its concentration. To decrease the concentration of what? A. So to decrease the concentration of A. What uh, equilibrium do is. It has to go in a forward direction. Because if A converts to B only. It, its concentration will be decreased. So A consumes itself. I mean A converts into B. So, reaction goes in a forward direction. If you increase the concentration of A, reaction goes in a forward direction. For example, you are increasing the concentration of a B. Product concentration you are increasing. If you are increasing the concentration, then equilibrium has to shift in such a direction to decrease the concentration of what? To decrease the concentration of B. Are you understand? Whatever you are increasing, equilibrium tries to decrease it. Whatever you are decreasing, equilibrium tries to increase it. Opposite, just opposite. So, if you increase the concentration of B, equilibrium shifts back. And uh, uh, to decrease its concentration, it, it goes in a backward direction. Because if it converts into A only, its concentration will be decreased. That's it. Here, uh, I want to tell you that. And one more important point I want to say under trick number one. That is, if any solid, suppose A plus B. A plus B gives rise to C. One, one reaction is there. A plus B gives rise to C. And here A is a solid. B is a gas. C is also solid uh, gas. If you change anything concentration of A, it, it don't play any effect. This is important. Solids, there is no change in equilibrium. If you increase the concentration or decrease the concentration, no effect on equilibrium. No effect on equal. For this, how to write Kc? For example, equilibrium constant, products concentration by reactant concentration. If anything, a stoichiometric coefficient is there, means it will be raised to the power. If how to write Kp? Products pressure by reactants pressure. If any stoichiometric coefficient is there, it will raise to its power. And actually, if it is a gas, means it has to come in denominator. But it is a solid, that's why we are not writing. If you increase its concentration or decrease its concentration, there is no change. What you learnt in a trick number one, you learnt regarding concentration. Now, under trick number two, I am going to teach you trick number two. Under trick number 2, I am going to teach you effect of temperature. If if you increase the temperature, what happens? If we decrease the temperature, how the equilibrium shifts, in which direction it, it shifts, I am going to tell you. Here, there are two types of reactions we study. Actually, there are two types of reactions. One is exothermic reaction, exothermic reaction 
another one is endothermic reaction what is that exothermic reaction and endothermic reaction what is this exothermic reaction reaction which releases heat energy outside which releases heat is called as exothermic reaction what is endothermic reaction which absorbs the heat reaction which absorbs the heat is called as endothermic which releases the heat is called exothermic reaction okay see the reaction itself it is releasing heat outside so you should not give temperature you should not raise the temperature suppose if it is a reaction is exothermic how we will come to know whether it is exothermic or not delta h value is negative if delta h is negative it is releasing energy outside so it is exothermic reaction so this time reaction itself is releasing energy so you should not increase the temperature it is already releasing energy if you still increase the temperature reaction goes in backward direction very important suppose reaction is there and reaction it needs energy you have to, delta h value is a positive so you have to give the energy to it so if you increase the temperature in that case it absorbs reactants absorbs energy and they convert into products so exothermic releases energy less temperature is favored endothermic needs energy so you have to give energy from outside then forward reaction takes place here the um, trick i want to tell you is here one tip i will tell you that is um, if if delta h value is negative means exothermic delta h value positive means endothermic you will identify that but and there is another way of representation of a reaction a plus b gives rise to c plus d and they they can mention this like a q joules so they can mention the heat which is releasing in a reaction itself whenever they are mentioning that plus q joule means what few what you may think is they, you can think that delta h value is positive no here positive symbol represents that along with the products q amount of energy is released out so exothermic reaction another way of representation is plus q j endothermic reactions a plus b gives rise to c plus d they can say minus q q kilojoules which means that if you see this negative if you think that uh, delta h is negative here positive negative symbol is the exothermic reaction then it is wrong which means that the meaning of this reaction is a plus b if q comes towards my left hand side it becomes positive q kilojoules c plus d which means that a and b are absorbing this much amount of energy to convert into products so if they have given like this it is endothermic reaction if you increase the temperature forward reaction takes place so in trick number 2 under trick number 2 you learned about the temperature now i am going to teach you the effect of pressure under trick number 3 under trick number 3 i am going to explain you about the effect of pressure what happens if you increase the pressure to the equilibrium or what happens if you decrease the pressure see pressure for example you have an container and in this container uh, some gas is there and we kept one piston and we are applying a pressure we are applying a pressure over the piston whenever we are applying some pressure over the piston then piston moves down like this piston move like this so here volume is more and when you apply more pressure volume becomes less we all know that as per boyle's law pressure is inversely proportional to volume if you apply more pressure volume will be decreases volume will be reduced so when we increase the pressure as i told you equilibrium shifts in such a direction to decrease the pressure so equilibrium has to decrease the pressure when pressure will be decreased is pressure is directly proportional to number of moles more number of moles number of moles increases number of moles of gas molecules is more then pressure also increases so if you increase the pressure equilibrium shifts towards a less pressure less pressure means less number of moles you you take any reaction for example take haber's reaction 
एन टू प्लस थ्री एच टू गिव रेज टू टू एन एच थ्री दिस अ रिएक्शन हाउ मेनी गैशियस मोल्स आर प्रेसेंट हियर हियर नथिंग इज देर मीन्स वन वन इज देर वन प्लस थ्री टोटल फोर मोल्स हियर हाउ मेनी मोल्स आर प्रेसेंट हियर टू मोल्स वेन एवर यू वी आर इंक्रीजिंग द प्रेशर देन वॉट हैपन्स इज रिएक्शन हैज टू डिक्रीज द प्रेशर डिक्रीज प्रेशर मीन्स लेस मोल्स लेस मोल्स मीन्स हियर फोर हियर टू विच डिरेक्शन रिएक्शन गोज इट गोज टूवर्ड्स द फॉरवर्ड reaction that's it that's it very simple that is under pressure trick number 3 this is important if if any case pressure is increased means then equilibrium shifts towards a less moles pressure increased means equilibrium shifts towards a less gaseous mole less moles because less pressure now i'm going to teach you trick number 4 under trick number 4 i'm going to teach you effect of catalyst effect of catalyst see catalyst there are two types of catalyst one is a uh, positive another one is negative if you consider positive catalyst catalyst is a substance which increases the speed of a reaction which increases the, uh, which increases the uh, which may also decreases the speed of reaction if it is a negative catalyst for example a is there a is converting into b then if you add a catalyst what happens if you, if we add the catalyst then rate of forward reaction increases then if rate of forward reaction increases rate constant of for forward also increases and rate constant for backward also increases for example uh, how to write kc kc means rate constant of forward by rate constant of backward if you write this um, here whenever you add a catalyst forward reaction is increased by n times n kf and backward reaction also increased n times n times of kb so forward reaction is increasing here i'll write n times of kf and n times of kb forward reaction is increasing rate constant of forward reaction also increase backward both are increasing equal times one year and a jee they ask the question like uh, you know when we add a catalyst forward reaction increased by two times and backward reaction is increased by 1.6 times is this correct statement no it is wrong because forward reaction two times means backward reaction also two times both in a equal times that's why there is kc remains constant and there is no change when you add a catalyst kc remains constant there is no change on composition because reactants and products remain same and there is uh, no change in its enthalpy values energy change no change these three remains constant very very important these three remains constant but what will be changed when you add a catalyst suppose without catalyst it takes 10 minutes to complete the reaction means if you add a catalyst it takes just 5 minutes time so time will be reduced time to attain time to attain equilibrium will be reduced equilibrium will be reduced i'll give you some questions now try these questions see these are the questions just to take a screenshot of these questions uh, question number 1 see question number 1 and uh, question number question number 2 question number 3 question number 4 try these four questions in next video i'll give solutions to that and there are some other uh, tricks like if you add an inert gas at constant volume what will happen if you add an uh, you know inert gas at constant pressure what will happen and many more tricks are there which you, chemistry is very easy easily you can learn i'm taking online classes if you want to learn from starting to the ending of the topics you know from basics to depth of the uh, you know particular chapters in an easiest way without any effort if you just by you know by listening only if you want to understand every concept you can uh, uh, join into my online classes in in our channel itself 360 plus videos i have uploaded you know still if you want to learn more than that you know you want to learn in a systematic manner and uh, then you can uh, enroll into the courses which are available and i'm give i'm going to give the uh, you know my contact number in the description you can whatsapp me for more details my name is komali i am your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching this video